Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Real Juicy Detox. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Burns. I'm your certified detox specialist. And today, oh my God, I'm so excited. Today, we are making some cucumber salad. But now that I think about it, maybe I'm going to make it into a cucumber eggless salad. Mm, that eggless salad has been like fire fire oh shoot hold on my microphone is all the way over here <laughs> whoops whoops i'm so sorry there we go hi everybody welcome welcome to the real juicy detox welcome to my kitchen i'm so glad that you guys are here pop in say hello let me know if you are tuning in if you're watching live let me know go ha type hashtag live or if you're watching on the replay hashtag replay because i do like to see your comments after the live is finished as well. So um, today we are making a few different simple dressings and dips. We're gonna make a cucumber salad. I just love cucumber. Do you guys love cucumber? It's so fresh and refreshing. I absolutely loves it. So while we are waiting for you guys to pop in, I'm going to share this out with some of our beautiful juicy groups. I'm going to share it with the Real Juicy Detox on Facebook, Juicing and Raw Food Support Group for Your Healing Journey, Juicing for Health, Eating to Live, Not Living to Eat, and oh my gosh, there was another one. Which one was it that we, um, Raw, the Raw, am I in that one? I don't know if I'm in that group yet. There we go, raw to be group, raw food recipe ideas. So here we go. Here we go, we're ready to go, we're ready to go, we're ready to go. By the way, how cute is this apron, you guys? Look at how cute. It even has a pocket. Look at this. How cute is this? This is an apron from a labor, a labor of love aprons. My dear friend, Nicole, makes these with her beautiful uh, friend as well. And she sent me two of them. This is the lemon one. Isn't this cute? Oh my gosh. So if you guys are interested in these aprons, I have the link in the YouTube video. So if you're watching on Facebook, go and check out the YouTube link. Isn't it cute, Cindy? Oh my gosh. It is just beautifully made. And you know, as um, as a designer myself, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm a stickler for something well-made. You know what I mean? I like something well-made, right? Isn't it super cute? And look at the fringe, you guys. Look at the little fringe. It's so cute, right? So if you are interested in something custom made and beautiful like this, make sure to go check her out. The link is in the description of this video on YouTube, this same broadcast on the YouTube. So go and check it out. Go and check it out. So um, yeah, how are you guys doing? Is everybody doing well? How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's Friday. It's no, it's Thursday. Sorry. It's Thursday. It is Thursday afternoon. Let's get, let's get making some stuff. So I had originally thought, you know what? I want to do a, um, a cucumber salad with just cucumbers and avocados. And then I thought, wait a minute. I wonder if we can do the eggless salad using cucumbers because Cucumbers, very similar to zucchini, right? Right, 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 right. And I don't have any zucchini. I do not have any zucchini, but I do have cucumbers. Where's my where's my red nut? Here it is. So let's make let's make some eggless salad. Let's do it. I'm gonna just peel this cube right here. Yep. Kai is just saging the house right now, clearing up some energy in the house, right? Pop in, you guys. Don't be shy. <clears throat> Chat with me in the in the comments. Where's my other rep? So yeah, so I, I got this lemon um, apron and I also got this 
Look at how cute this is. Watermelon. How adorable. Yeah, so you go all the way up in all the corners. Get Go into the... Yeah, she's doing a great job. She's doing a great job. Sage away, baby. Sage away. So these are super cute. Look at this one. The watermelon with the polka dots is just super, super cute. Right? I'm going to try my hand at the egg salad after I run my errands today. Awesome. Awesome. So I'll wear the watermelon on another day. But I thought, you know what? I'm feeling like I'm in the mood for lemons. Although I do love the watermelon. But the polka dots go behind the TV, everywhere, all the... Yeah. Just giving her a little direction on saging over here. Hi there, Carrie. Oh my goodness. So glad that you are here. Hello. Love the lemons. I have a shirt that looks just like that. Yeah. I love the lemons, baby. Love the lemons. So here, let's start making some eggless salad, but using cucumbers. Now the original recipe, like I said, was for, um, use was, was, was with using, um, zucchini, but I don't have any more zucchini. So if you don't have something and you want to still try a recipe out to see if it's going to work, try to use something that is going to have a similar um, texture, a similar taste that you might like, and something that's in the house. So me, I've got cucumber in the house. So cucumber, it shall be. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to wait. I need to move my my cutting board more this way. Okay. Or maybe I go like this. How about that? Yes. Yes. Why is my eye watering? Why is my eye watering? So I've also got some of these beautiful raw vegan bagels that we made the other day. Completely raw. So delicious. And I have it in the flatbread version as well. And let me tell you what. <laughs> Cindy. Okay. Since there are no kids in the classroom as yet, I hope that was the first thing out of his mouth. Oh, you can wear that. You can wear that topless. You can wear that completely in your birthday suit. And I said, yeah, that's another kind of show, Dolly. That's not, that's not the real juicy detox kind of show, but look at this flatbread, how delicious that looks. So I'm so excited about the flatbread and the bagels, the Bernsey bagels, because I changed up a few things. I added um, quite a bit more psyllium husk and I just changed up the technique. So I don't know, I feel like calling it the Bernsey ba bagels, like the Bernsey burgers. Inspired by Carmen. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. Go and check out Carmen, go raw Carmen dot wixsite.com forward slash raw food living or something like that. I've linked it in the description of the video where we did the, um, the, the bagel and the flatbread recipe. So go and check that out. The original, her, her blog is just like, I will sing her praises by praises for Carmen to the high heavens because I absolutely love, love what she's doing. Oh my God, Duda says burns. Oh my God, those aprons are too cute. I'm telling you guys, I am telling you. Super cute, super cute. Brenda says, can't wait to see your cucumber salad. I love being in the kitchen. Yummy, me too, Brenda, me too. The bagels look delicious. I've been making tortillas in my dehydrator, making pizza tortillas right now and dried onions. Isn't it so exciting to be able to make this beautiful living food for our families? Isn't it? Isn't it pretty amazing? I'm pretty stoked. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. The burn is pretty stoked. Now I don't have anywhere to put my my rag. <laughs> my kitchen rag. I'll put it on the inside of this cupboard and just close the cupboard and hope that it stays. It'll fall a million times today, but that's okay. So we're just going to hang out today. We're going to have a nice and easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl kind of day. 
and we're going to hang out. We're going to eat some salad. We're going to make some cashew cream cheese, some a beautiful sweet and savory dressing. And lo and behold, here we are. We're making eggless salad out of cucumber instead of out of zucchini. And Mike, if Mike is in the houses yet, Mike, I've got my Kevlar glove so that I don't give you any freaky vibes of slicing open my, my hand. This is two gloves in one, actually. I'm double gloving it, you guys. I don't think it's necessary. I'm gonna try it just with one. In any case, my hand is still not gonna get near the blade. This is just extra protection just in case, just in case. So I've got my amazing Xylus mandolin slicer. And if you guys were here when I, uh, when I was doing something in the kitchen here a little while ago, you will know that I kind of found this <laughs> by accident on purpose. And it works, um, it works so beautifully. I'm gonna use this blade to so see that. That's gonna give me a nice julienne sliced cucumber situation. And we're going to slice this up, the cucumber, and then we're gonna chop it. So it's gonna be like really nicely diced. This would be really cool if this works because I know some people cannot or don't like eating zucchini. Oh, that's so satisfying. That is some satisfying stuff right there. Let me let me show you guys. Hold on. Let me show you what is going on. Here we go. So we're just going to see. Yeah, now I'm not nervous at all about the blade work here. So we're just going to slice up this cucumber beautifully. And when I do get a little bit closer down, I am going to put this kind of guard on here. And I'm just going to continue to do that just like so. Just going to leave this one for later. And what you can see here is that I've got a beautifully julienne cucumber. Look at that. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is to get this ready for the eggless salad, I'm just gonna chop up the cukes, just like so so that they are finely diced. Brenda asks, oh, super cute aprons, right, Amy? So cute, so cute. Have you ever made vegan deviled eggs? I just found out, found black salt. We'll try it this weekend. Yeah, no, I, I have not, um, I've not put these into the, the, you know, the marinated mushroom caps. As yet, I do have actually, I do have some mu mushroom caps marinating. I can possibly pull them out, but this, this here salad tastes so good. Like I said, I've done it with zucchini. This is my first go with um, cucumber. I love cucumber. Do you guys love cucumber? I love me some cukes, y'all. I love me some cukes. Okay. So I'm going to put that into a bowl. Just grab this. Ah. I do love these glass bowls, but oh my goodness. They are heavy, y'all. Heavy. So I've got a beautiful bowl. And by the way, these are on sale at Costco right now for $14.99 Canadian. It's in Canada where I am. Thank you. 
Give me one second. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Just turned off my my sound for a minute. Kaya was playing her music and I could hear it. And if I can hear it, that means that YouTube is going to hear it. And you can't do that on your YouTube channel or otherwise it will be, the video will be demonetized. Not that my videos are hitting any number of views as yet to get monetized, but my channel is monetized. There we go. Hmm. Hi, Dottie. How was it out there? It's nice out there. Eh? It's nice and sunny. Hey, 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 Elaine. LOL, Cindy. Yeah. Cindy, you funny. How are you doing, Elaine? Dottie. Hi. How was it outside? Was it was it good? Yeah. She's sitting over there in the lounge looking straight at me, meowing away. So I'm just going to chop this up so that it is finely, evenly diced. Just trying to hold those all together so that it gets in there, you know? So this eggless salad is based on Carmen's eggless salad in Go Raw Carmen. And it is a beautiful alternative to the real thing. It tastes remarkably similar. I don't have any black salt. And I don't really feel like I need the flavor of the sulfur to make it really feel and taste like egg salad. I find that just using dill gives me exactly the dill and the mustard really gives me the flavor that i'm going for interestingly enough this is not the, the cucumber salad that i had envisioned for today i was just going to do a sliced cucumber with a vinaigrette but I, i'm feeling like i like this a little bit more look at that beautiful 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 so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to actually rinse off. I'm going to rinse off this mandolin. Get that blade put back right away so that the blade is not, you know, you got to be so mindful when you're, when you're working with these super, super, super sharp ones. I was thinking about that, Cindy, squeeze the water out because they have much more water than zucchini, right? I was thinking of doing that. I'll do that. Yeah. Great idea. Oh my God, that apron taking Eric to work. I'll be back. Love you all. The apron though, right, Alana? How freaking cute is the apron? Yeah, my friend makes these. And I, I messaged her. I said, oh, my gosh, girl, I need to have an apron for my for my juicy detox class. And she sent me two aprons. We kind of worked out which ones I, I wanted um, and which ones, you know, I loved the most. And, of course, the lemons and 
the watermelon ones. The link to her website is in the description of the video here on the YouTube. So make sure that you go and check out my girl, Nicole. Dottie, what are you doing, Dot? Why is that? I'm not sure why this cover. What's what's up, Dot? Do you want to go back outside? It's probably really nice out, and you're like, what? Did, why did I come in here? Why did I come inside? I don't even know why. Come here. You want to go out? Come here, Dottie. Oh, now you're sniffing your food. Now she's eating. Okay, so now she's eating. So yeah, let me squeeze this out. Um, super easy to do. That makes me feel like I kind of want to make, um, I think I need to have another water, uh, watermelon, another cucumber in there as well because That's only going to squeeze out, and it's going to, it's going to, I need more. I need more. I need more. I need more cucumbers. I need more cucumbers, and I just grabbed a couple of avocados as well. So, yes, we are making eggless raw raw vegan eggless salad you guys so we've got some cucumbers usually this recipe the original recipe from Car go carmen go raw carmen yeah hers has um zucchini and honestly zucchinis are a little bit expensive at this time of year they're like 250 a pound or something like that. Anyhow, I don't keep zucchini stock in the house quite as much, uh, kind of because they're a little bit more pricey and kind of because I just don't. Cucumbers, however, yeah. Actually, I saw cucumbers on sale this uh, this week, I think it was. I saw cucumbers on sale this week. After I had bought them for two fifty dollars a piece, I saw them on sale for a dollar a piece. I hate that. Do you guys hate that? I hate when that happens. You're, 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 you're shopping around, you're looking around for stuff, and it's like, okay, that sucks. I just bought that for like so much more money, so much more. Oh, well. Oh, well. So I'm just going to peel these cukes, get off all the green. She wants to go back out, Kaya. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Love me some fresh uh, veggies, you know. Okay, so we're going to bring back out the mandolin, even though I just washed it. That's okay. Take off that guard. And I'm going to use this, this blade. Look at that. And that is going to give me a nice fine dice. I'm going to put on my Kevlar glove that I got because <laughs> these things are something else. And we're just going to go ahead and get that beautifully julienne before I go back in and dice it up. Where is my guard? And I don't know where the little attachment that goes inside of this is, but that's okay because I don't really need it. How are you guys doing out here? Hey, Anne-Marie. Good afternoon, darling. How are you? Are you having a good day? So glad to see you here at the noon class as per usual. Always great to see the regulars in class. 
If you are brand new to the class, welcome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that you are here. Welcome, welcome. Make sure to comment. Which mandolin do you have? I need one. Lisa, this is the Xylus. I really need to update my Amazon store. Good God. Good golly, Miss Molly. But this is the Xylus. It is pretty amazing. I've had, I've used several uh, mandolins in my day. And this one is, oops, don't drop it. This one by far is my favorite. It is sharp as all get out. Make sure you also get a Kevlar glove like this. I will, I will set aside some time to update the Amazon store. But you guys know that even if you start out your purchasing journey on Amazon through the Real Juicy Detox store, um, I still get a, a commission, not a huge commission, you know, I'm not buying no cabin in the woods with my Amazon income, <laughs> a little $20 a month from whatever. But you know, it does help a sister out. So I'm just going to go ahead. This is this is one big chopping session. So I'm going to divide this in half a little bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and chop this up. So I use the um, the xylus, and I love it. You're so welcome, babe. Raw vegan knees. Hi, every, hey everyone. I love your apron burns. This isn't this the cutest apron ever, you guys. Seriously, Nicole is um, a good friend of mine through the fitness industry days and co competition and and just being friends on Facebook. And she um, started this little apron company with her with a uh, best friend of hers. Really beautiful um, story. Go check her out. They are at labor of love aprons.com. And I put the link in the description of this video. So go and check her out. They are custom. They are all handmade. I think the fabric of this one, if, it, if I'm not mistaken, I think this fabric is from um, uh, Italy, I think. And Oh my God, as a designer, listen, I love good quality stuff. Yeah, I like my cheap clothes. I like my disposable clothing. But when I have something that is custom made and it is made with such beautiful quality, oh my gosh, it just, it's everything. You know what I'm saying? It is everything. So yeah, go and check out um, Labor of Love. I'm just helping to spread the word from a girl. You know what I'm saying? I, it's not an affiliate program. It's not an affiliate link. I don't make any commission on sending you over to Labor of Love. I just love supporting um, small businesses. You know what I'm saying? Designers who are out here, you know, putting their beautiful stuff out into the world. You know, I love all of that kind of sharing. Sharing is caring, you guys. If you've got something and you're not sharing it, if you have info, you need to share it. <laughs> Don't keep that good stuff to yourself. Don't keep it to yourself. Okay, so I've got, I should have pulled out my big Newton, the next batch, because they're still in my bowl. Oh, I'm excited about this. Are you guys excited about cucumber? Eggless salad with cucumbers? I am. I think we should all get excited about this because it's going to be good. Anne-Marie says, oh, sorry. Anne-Marie says, doing good. Just made a big salad for lunch. We'll be trying bagels this weekend. Oh, baby. So if you guys have not tried the bagel recipe as yet... You really need to. You're missing out. I know it's hard to believe that flaxseed and zucchini mixed together with psyllium husk can come out tasting like a bagel. It's like, nah, that can't, that can't, that can't be right. 
it's for real legit it is it works and we're gonna make some egg salad to put on top of that because burns the girl is hungry y'all had my orange juice this morning did our bouncing with burns this morning at 9 a.m eastern standard time had a nice little class and now we are making eggless, raw vegan eggless salad. Yeah, for real. We're going to start off with some chopped cucumber. This is two cucumbers chopped. There we go. And we are going to squeeze out the excess liquid in that because it is quite a bit wa more watery than than the zucchini and it's so, so cool how um how you mentioned that cindy because i was thinking the same thing i'm like this is gonna be a little bit watery so actually let me just first i've got this um sorry let me tell you what i'm doing here i've got this vegetable strainer bag just like so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just completely cover this bowl like so and then I'm gonna just empty it out into this bowl, like so. Oh my gosh, Dot. Let me go let that kitten out. Let me go let that girl out. Hey, Lois, I made it here. Awesome, Lois. We're making the egg salad right now, girl. So this is perfect, perfect, perfect timing. Oh my goodness, perfect timing. So I'm so glad that you are here, Lois. So what we've done so far is we've got our cucumber finely diced. I use my mandolin to get it into julienne slices. And then I chopped that into little cubes. And now I'm just squeezing out the excess water. And don't throw this away because this makes a good, you know, refreshing juice. Yes, it does. You can also use this cucumber water in, in a dressing. You can use it in so many different applications, but yeah, you can just totally drink it. You can add it to some green juice. You can add it to some apple juice. You can do an apple cucumber cilantro. It's the, like the swamp juice. Remember the swamp juice that we made a little while ago? So I'm just squeezing this out just like so. And it's okay if there's a little bit of liquid left over, that's all right. But look at how much, look at how much water was in that. So I'm just gonna empty this now into our bowl. What's the word on the street these days, you guys? What's the word on the street? You guys have any detox questions for me? So it's still got a little bit of moisture in there, but that is totally fine because, you know, you want a little bit of moisture. That's okay. But it doesn't have as much, clearly, as what we got rid of in there. Let me see. How much is that? Mm. That's good. Put that over here. Let's out my bowl. Okay, so we've got the base right there. And then we're going to go ahead and chop up two avocados. Oh, beautiful. That's one. Nice. Just gonna get the 
seeds out. And then Alana, we are making uh, the eggless salad, the eggless egg salad. But instead of zucchini, I'm going to use cucumber because I don't have any more zucchini. And I've got cucumber. So use what you have. So I think this is going to really work nicely. brown spot. It's a nice, quiet, chill afternoon here with you guys. So happy. Trying my second batch of bagels and this one I may be happy with. Oh, good. What did you not like about the first batch? I'm so glad that you're, you guys are willing to try and try again and not to be discouraged when something that you make doesn't quite turn out the way you thought it was. It's like, okay, what did I do? <laughs> what the heck did I do here? You know? So if you have, if anybody has any questions, like I said, I love pulling them up. I know I seem like I'm just really focused on what I'm doing here and that, oh my gosh, I have questions, but she's cooking and I can't just bust out a question. No, no, bust out a question. Lois says, I'm technology challenged. When I go find this video, my ladder, <laughs> will your recipes come up so I can print them when I'm at the computer? No. No, they won't. Nope. Nope. Sorry. That's kind of like something that you guys are going to need to figure out. I'm sorry. I can't do it all. I know my limitations, and I know you're not asking me to do it all, but I'm just letting you know. I wish I could do more right now about getting the recipes out there on an ebook type of thing that you can print out, but um, that is not my reality right now in terms of time. So, you know, ask one of your beautiful grandkids to. Uh, to type it out for you from the description of the video. I think that would be good. I love your apron, right? This apron is from Labor of Love Aprons, and the link is in the description of this video. It's not an affiliate link or uh, anything like that. It's just a girlfriend of mine who makes beautiful aprons that I was like, oh, girl, you need to send me, you need to send me some aprons. Can I buy, an, can I buy a few aprons from you? I will sing your praises as well on my videos and um, help spread the word about these beautiful custom handmade aprons that you and your best friend are making. And she was like, yes. So we got together and we came up with the design that I liked and the fabric that I liked. And she made them, custom made them for me. And I'm so grateful. Her name is Nicole. And her website is laboroflovaprons.com. Make sure you go and check her out. Go and check her out. So I'm just chopping up this avocado. Oops, look you up later. <laughs> they were tasteless and way too small. Okay. Did you make sure to put in all of the, um, the things that I did? Did you follow the recipe exactly? Sometimes it takes a little bit of tweaking. Add a little bit of more of certain things. I really like the jalapeno in my in my bagel, the jalapeno and the extra garlic. So that might be something. Okay, so we've got the avocado chopped up. I'm just putting it in the bowl over here. We're just gonna, let's give that a quick little mix around before we add in the rest of our ingredients. Look at that, Look at that you guys. Mm. 
Mm. I'm so excited about this. Get all of that off of my fingers and into the bowl. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't put the the, the um, ingredient list for this egg salad in the description of this video. I will adjust that because, um, you know, it's really super handy when you have that right on the description itself. I really didn't think I was going to make egg salad until I realized, wait a minute, cucumber, avocado, let's bust out an egg salad version of this, shall we? Let's see. Alrighty, it's a winner. You can't go wrong. Mm. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, let me wash my hands. gonna chop some fresh dill. Good afternoon, Stacy. Cutest apron ever, right? So, so awesome. I put more seasoning in and top them with sesame seeds. Yes, I find that the topping ingredients are really, really um, a good idea. I love me some aprons. I have an apron problem, love the lemons. <laughs> and the frill come on how cute is that <laughs> love it i love it uh, oh my goodness so glad that you guys are here you may be able to highlight the recipe in the facebook description and then hit copy and you can paste it in the notes or a word file to print yes exactly you can totally do that ding 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 thank you perfect you know what else I have today that I might throw into, or maybe I'll just put them on top of my of my bagel with um, um, this eggless salad is some capers. I love the um, the taste of capers. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking these. See, this is dill, and dill has a beautiful. It's almost like a a fern. You see that? Those nice, those nice leaves. So I'm just pulling off some of those. I don't want the thick woody stems. So I'm just going to pull those off. And then I'm just going to I'm gonna get a little bit more. I love a lot of dill in my egg salad. My eggless, raw vegan, no eggs here, folks. Eggs are so not what you want to be putting into your body. Really, really not good. So I'm just going to get that like so. And then I'm just going to make it into a tight ball like so and then i'm just going to chop it like so super easy if you don't like dill by all means go ahead and use parsley you can even put i don't know if i would put cilantro in this but hey hey baby it's your salad you do what you want to do you put what you like in your food. Yum.
Oh my god, my god, I didn't get a notification. Hello, all. Hello, cat. That sucks. Are you getting here late? What are we what are we making today? We are making eggless salad with cucumber, avocado, some dill. Yeah, being Greek, I like a lot of seasonings. I really don't think I put in the right amount the first time. Oh, well, there you go. A little clarity for yourself. So we're going to put in about two tablespoons of finely chopped dill. That may have been more. You do you, do you boo. You put in however much you want in there. <laughs> I'm being silly. Okay, so now I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Now, Dolly loved this with, with pickles chopped into it as well. Me, no, nah, I'm not so much a fan. It was just a little too pickly for me. So for this one, I'm going to just put in um, just the extra dill, and that will satisfy my the pickle side of things, you know? And when you really think about it, cucumbers are already like a pickle. I mean, it is what pickles are, pickled cucumbers. So I'm starting out on the right track with that flavor profile. I'm just chopping up some sun-dried tomatoes. I haven't soaked them, you saw me take it right out of the bag directly, oops, sorry. Yeah, you gotta taste it, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that, you have to taste stuff as you eat them as you make it. I have a detox question. I was diagnosed with stage four uh, breast cancer, blocked car cardioid artery and other issues. I immediately went to all fruit, but I have become so weak that I can't function while doing daily tasks. I started adding raw veggies, sprouts and dehydrated tortillas. I feel somewhat stronger, but I am still really weak. Isn't eating both fruits and veggies just as good for overall detoxing than just fruit? I've been calling into work because of this detox. I need a balance so I can, um, let me read the rest of your comment here. So I can bring home money. Yeah, I understand. I understand. So, hey, babe, first of all, let me just let you know that you are doing an awesome job. Holy wow. It is not an easy thing to, uh, to go through such a heavy detox. And when you're, when you're looking at systemic issues like that, like really deep systemic issues of, of, uh, lymphatic stagnation and detoxification, it's gonna, it's gonna throw you for a loop, right? So Here's what Dr. Morris has to say on this. If you have something that is a really a life-threatening situation or diagnosis right now that you need to get cleaned up, and especially if you have cancer like this and a stage four breast cancer, he is very clear, high level fruit detox for you if you can if you can handle it. And you are, it is going to, it is going to kick your butt. But oh, I need to plug in my phone. But you know what? It's, you're going to be down from work for a little bit regardless. So that is one of the, that is one of the trade-offs, you know, you can, you can go the, the route of, of having your breasts removed and pumping you full of chemotherapy. What is that going to land you? That's going to land you in bed and unable to work anyhow. And it's not going to heal. Um, it's not going to heal anything. It's not going to heal anything. I would definitely look into um, getting your kidneys opened up and filtering. Are your kidneys filtering, Carrie? How are you doing with that? Raw uh, veggies, a high fruit, a high fruit detox is going to be your best bet at this point. Uh, it may knock you on your butt. Yeah, it very well may. Are you taking any herbal support? I would recommend. <sighs> In these kind of trickier cases, guys, where you have like a really life-threatening situation going on and you need to get yourself well right now, high fruit. Stay away from the veggies for now unless you really need to pull back off of that detox. Getting your, your, getting your kidneys open, getting your adrenals working, getting everything starting to drain 
Very, very key. Very, very key. You got blocked arteries as well. All of that is acidosis, babe. All of that is acidosis. Um, this is one of those cases where you you are definitely going to want to work closely with somebody to walk you through this and to really hold your hand through this detox process, babe. I'm really sorry that you're dealing with all of that. Um, you know, I, I would be able to answer a little bit more fully if I if I had you know uh, some insight into your your full history, but breast cancer stage four. You need to get this done. You need to get on and be really focused on a high, high level of detox. I hope that that makes sense. Yes, kidneys started filtering a week ago. Awesome. I'm doing all the kits from Dr. Morris, plus all of his teas, superfoods, and GI broom. I'm not eating anything cooked at all. Okay, so you're doing everything. So now you're just going to have to buckle up and hold on. It might be a bit of a bumpy ride, but God knows this is the way to do it. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't do this, you're going to experience all of these detox symptoms. You're going to have healing crises. You're going to need to stay plugged in and tuned into the classes here, Carrie. And, um, you know, just keep on going. Keep on going. You've got a lot of stuff going on and you're doing the perfect, uh, the perfect protocol to help yourself to get through this healing. But it is going to be bumpy. It is going to be bumpy. Carrie, uh, can Carrie do lemon and distilled water enemas and rebounding to get the lymph moving? I would not do the enemas because enemas in, in my experience are too aggressive on the bowels and it's not necessary. She's doing the GI uh, formula and the GI broom. She's got, she's doing the kits. So that also has in there the parasite G, which is going to take care of any, any parasites within the bowels. And she's doing the um, the GI Renew formula. So she's good with the bowels. She's cleaning out the bowels. Uh, definitely, I would be doing some rebounding. Absolutely. And you guys know I do bouncing with burns every morning to get the lymphatic system moving. So that's what I would definitely do. Um, let me just go in here and see. Good afternoon, Gwen. How are you doing? So glad to see you. Let me just see here. I'm joining late today. That apron looks so cute. Thank you so much. I've been pumping up my girl or gassing up my girl as the saying goes. Go check her out. The link is in the description of this video. She is um, laboroflovearons.com, but I put the link in the video as well on YouTube. So if you're watching on Facebook, you gotta go to YouTube to see all the links. Thank you. I have been doing Dr. Morse's lemonade too. Okay, so you're, you're on the right track. You're on the right track. When you, when you see that that's the level of systemic impairment, then you know that this is going to take a while. You know, you know that this is going to take a while. I've also bought, I also bought a trampoline because of you. Awesome. I'll be buying a big trampoline for outside when it gets warm. Oh my gosh, that is going to be so much fun to bounce around on. Oh my gosh. Yes. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let me go in and see what are the ingredients for the eggless salad. When did I make it? Videos. Um, eggless salad. I think I made it here. Hold on. Oh no, that was the other egg. That wasn't the one. There we go. Uh, the, okay. So I have got, I'm not going to go in with the celery because we really don't eat celery in, in stuff that much. And this has enough of a crunch. Um, green onion. So let me get some green onion. So the original recipe from Carmen, 
called for, what was it? One tablespoon of green onion. That is never going to be enough for me. So I'm going to go in with two green onions. And I don't know how much that is going to work out to be, but it's probably going to be, well, maybe it will be two a tablespoon or two. So let me, let's just see. Let's chop up this green onion. So, um, so Carrie, you just keep on doing what you're doing, babe. This is the work, you know, and how long it's going to take, how long will this take? I don't know. I don't know. It, it depends on you. It depends on, on your body. It depends on how systemically stagnant you're, you are. Um, but one thing that we do know is that this is the work because no thing that a doctor is going to do for you is going to actually heal and completely get rid of the cancer because they are treating symptoms, right? They're not going after the cause and the cause of all dis-ease in the body is acidosis, toxicity, and uh, tissue weakness or trauma to tissue. So we've got, yeah, I guess that is two tablespoons. So I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put another one in there. I just do like a lot of green onion. So we're just gonna chop that up. Oh, thank you so much, Anne Marie. Praying for your recovery, Carrie. Yes, we are praying for your swift, speedy recovery from this and that you have a full return to normal function. But yeah, when you've got when you've got these serious, this is something that I think a lot of people don't honor enough in their healing process. And that is the fact that you're going to need rest. And if you don't settle yourself down and get some rest done, guess what? Your body will say, yeah, we're, we're resting you, baby. Enough of this. Enough of this going out and doing too much. Yeah, I get it. We all have to work. We all need money. Money, unfortunately, makes this world go round. You know, and, oh, this is making my eyes water. That is a reality. But you know what is also a reality? Is that if you don't take the time to honor your healing process and to take time off from work, you know what's going to happen? Your body is going to say, I'm done. I'm done. You're not giving me time to rest. I'm officially done. So many people work themselves to the grave for what? And then how, then how productive are you? Then how much, you know, money are you going to be able to bring into the family resources? Like none because you're either going to be sick, laid up in bed, in a hospital, or dead. Something's going to give. It, 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 it always does, and it will. And either you honor your healing process now and, and figure something out, Take care of your healing. Allow your body to do what it needs to do. Understand that there will be times in this process when it's going to feel like this is taking you down. Oh, my God, the fruits are blah, 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 fill in the blank. No, it's not the fruit's fault. It's the fruits may be highlighting and showing you where you're weak in the body. They may be showing you where you're most lymphatically challenged but it's not because the fruits are doing are doing something bad to you it's the fruits are cleaning you out okay so i'm going to put in here a teaspoon of un, of mustard Oops. and i need to get my green seasoning garlic sauce i mean my 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 mayo my garlic mayo right here This is the Trinidadian inspired green seasoning um, garlic sauce, mayonnaise. One, two, 
three, four, five, six tablespoons. I'm just going to mix that together. I'm going to sprinkle with a little salt. And a little pepper. About a quarter of a teaspoon, just a little bit. Yes, Carrie says, thank you all. I plan on getting back to better than ever. You will be. You will be. We are here for you. We want you to know that, you know, we are here for you as your support, okay? We got you, babe. We got you. Lean on us. Lean on us. Use the resources within the group. Come to class. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know when you need a little bit of extra love and light. We got you, babe. We got you. You're not alone on in this, okay? Okay, so let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> that is good. I'm going to put a teaspoon of turmeric. Just a little bit for color and flavor. Got a little mix around. <clears throat> mm, that is so good, you guys. Let me show you what I got going on here. Let me show you. So, okay, let's try this. Let's take a taste test, shall we? Mm. That is really yummy. Mm. That was so good. Mm hmm I almost feel like it needs a little bit more dill. Let's get a little bit more dill in there. Do you guys like dill? I like dill. <clears throat> Underneath that blanket, right on the couch. Uh, she's heading out to pick up a friend. And I'm gonna need to get some more dill soon it's so quiet in class today everybody's just chilling out and feeling the calm peaceful vibe love that Oh. Oh. All right. Try and take this. 
Yeah. So here it is. I think this is going to be perfect now with that extra added bill. You want some? Yes, please. Okay, this is that eggless egg salad that we were working on yeah, last week. Hello. Can you get me one too? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> oh, your hair looks really cute. Thank you. Mm. The purple. That's good. Isn't that good? I'm watching you between teaching. Did you put chickpeas in it? No, this is no chickpeas at all. I'm not a fan of the chickpea in my egg salad. This is uh, cucumber, avocado. That's the base. Isn't that yummy? How would it taste on one of these flatbreads? Try it on that. No? I'll try it on that. I believe this is food from the last night. Oops. What? I believe this is from last night. No, I think I put that out for them today. Okay, so here is the flatbread with the egg salad. Mm. Wow. That is really delicious. I want to put a few capers on that. Kitty. Kitty giving her, yeah, come on, let's go. Feed me some fresh food. No, it's not, honey. That is not food from last night. I know for a fact. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put some capers on here because I just think that would add a really nice sour element, just like so. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm, that is so good. Mm hmm. So good, Karen. That is a really nice addition. Okay, see you, honey. That is really, really good. Really nice. You can do it on one of these raw bagels that we have that we made the other day. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to spread some of that right onto that bagel. And I almost want to add a little bit of chopped onion, but I'm too lazy. I don't feel like chopping any onion. But the, the capers, oh yeah, baby. I love capers. You guys like capers? Hey, Donna, you're welcome. Thank you for explaining how to do the ratios for Dr. Morris other herbs. I'm on it. You're welcome. My pleasure. Any of the herbal 
um, any of Dr. Morris's formulas, you can see the ingredient list on his website. The top, it goes from most concentrated to least concentrated. And if you assume a ratio of five for the top ones and you go down the, down the line and you just start breaking it up into, okay, five and five, let's say it has 10. Let's say your formula has 10 different herbs listed. Just do it real simple. The first two, five, ratio of five parts. You decide what your parts are going to be, whether I would recommend doing it by weight. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? I like capers. No mustard? Yes. No, I have a teaspoon of mustard in here. Thank you. Looks yummy. You're welcome. So if you guys are wanting something to feed to your families, like what better living food than this all raw, all detox friendly. Mm. Mm. I'm serious, you guys. This is so good. Mm hmm. So cucumber works just as well as just as well as um, zucchini, which is great to know. I'm going to put a little bit of chopped jalapeno on there because I am just loving a little spice with my food, you know? And because I'm looking at it and it's sitting right here on the, on the counter, so why not? Why not? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I like a little heat. Yes. There we go. Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Malvina says, love your apron. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. The apron is from Labor of Love Aprons.com. Mm-hmm. Lois, yes. Ooh. That jalapeno is adding some kick. Yes, I will, Lois. Hang on one second. Mm. So good. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Who knew eating raw could taste this good? Hmm? Speaking of a little spice burns, I had a few shakes of cayenne pepper to my juices, and it's actually really good to me anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Oops. But, yes, that does sound really good. Totally sounds good. So, yeah, here we go. This is it. The eggless salad made with cucumber. Mm hmm. I'm full. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. How are you doing today, Vic? How's school going? What are you guys learning about in school right now? We just made an eggless salad. Do you like egg salad, Vic? Victoria is one of our 10-year-old students, guys. Yes, indeed. 
Oh, that was so satisfying. That was so good. I don't even need to have anything else. I am going to make some heal all tea because Kaya just took the last of my juice and I need to go grocery shopping. I do not have any fruits to juice. I know, crazy. I do have fruits in the freezer that I could always mix up a, um, a smoothie, but I am full right now in terms of this stuff, but I do want to get my heal all tea whipped up. You're doing good, Victoria. Awesome. So glad to hear that, babe. And so glad that you are here. Welcome. The garlic mayonnaise. Let me see. I don't know where it is. I do not know where it is. I made it at the end of one of my one of my videos. Raw vegan bagels, sprouted chickpea. Well, raw vegan mayo. Okay, so raw vegan mayo. I made that on it's a couple different versions, uh, honey. There's a couple different versions. You can make it with young, fresh Thai coconut meat. You can make it with cashew butter, cashew nuts. <clears throat> I did want to make a cream cheese recipe for bagels anyhow. So why don't we do that up now? And it's pretty, pretty similar. I mean, I made it with, okay, here's the recipe. All right, here's the recipe. These young kids that are in this group amaze me. I know, me too, right? I have seven-year-old Aubrey, who's in here with Talia, her mom. I've got 10-year-olds, uh, Vic Victoria Ramsaran, Victoria Ling, and Abby. They're 10 years old. We have Sehar's kids, Amar, eight, Aliyah, 11, and Alice Alicia, five. It's amazing. And they come in like on their own, just come in and coming in to check out the class. It's so cool. Victoria, do you like my, look at my apron, Victoria. Hi, Ella. How are you, darling? Look at my apron. Isn't it cute? Designer apron for the burns. I love it. Okay, I don't feel like making, uh, to be honest with you, I will make the, I have the ingredients for how to make the cashew cream cheese in the description of this video, but I'm kind of feeling, I'm not, I don't feel like making anything else today. Is that bad? I'm sorry, but it's in the description of this video. You go ahead and you make that cashew cream cheese and you just add a little bit more water and a little bit more garlic and that's basically, that's basically this, but I don't remember when I made this in which video. I'm so sorry. It's one of those things that I just whipped up at the end of, of class. Oh, you know who has it? Alana had it written out. Did I send it to myself? I did. I sent Alana's written out recipe to myself. Okay. Um, okay, give me a minute. <laughs> Burnsy girl is a little tired today. Okay. Forward. Okay, Lois, I'm sending this to you now, babe. Lois. Okay, sent it to Lois, and I'm also going to 
copy it. And I'm going to add it to the description of this video on Facebook and on YouTube. Okay. Edit post. Garlic sauce mayo. So I have the mayo part then, there, and then I have the rest of it. I need to just. Or Trinidadian. Sure, not in green seasoning. <clears throat> okay. Copy, save. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just doing the admin work now so that I, I, because I won't do it later. If I don't do something right now. And I say, okay, I'll do that. I'll get to that later. I'm just letting you know that um, that's not likely to happen. I know myself. I know myself well. Hey, Gwen, I love that apron. It's, it's cute. Did you make it? No. So this apron was from my dear friend, Nicole Salmon. Nicole Saman. I never know how to pronounce her last name. I've only ever seen it. <laughs> my dear friend, Nicole has this company called Labor of Love. Um, Labor of Love um, aprons. Oi. I didn't know I can, okay, edit details. I can't, I can't edit that there. Cancel. Discard. Oh, oh no. Oh no. My, my phone died. My phone died. Hi. Here I am on my lovely Apple, um, MacBook air camera. Hi. Hi. Okay. Let me, let me do this on my YouTube channel. Oh, channel dashboard. Okay, I'm just updating this so that you guys can have a have it here so that you can be able to make it. Um, content. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. Oh, I keep thinking my my phone. My phone has been saying um, battery dying. Uh, do something. And I have been politely ignoring my phone, politely ignoring my phone. That's not at all bad, dear. Thank you so much, Ray. Thank you so much, dear one. You're so welcome, honey. You're so welcome. But I want to get this. So I've edit, edited it in. In on the Facebook. And I've added it to the YouTube video. And that's all she wrote, my my lovelies. That is all she wrote. So I, I've got it in there. I've got the garlic, the Trinidadian garlic sauce. I, I don't know where to look. Where do I look? Where's the camera? <laughs> there it is. The garlic sauce recipe. I, I updated the description of this video so that you can get that, okay? Hello, Aubrey here. Sorry, me and my mom are late today. So glad that you are here, Aubrey. We were just talking about you. Did you hear us talking about you? Saying how awesome it is. Aubrey is seven years old, you guys. Aubrey, your, your, your typing skills for a seven-year-old are amazing. You're so smart. You're so with it. You are with it, girlfriend. Welcome to class. Kat says, hi, girls. That's what I need and is an apron now that I'm in the kitchen making these recipes. I know, right? I have to tell you that last night I put a cart full of all sorts of different raw nuts, 
and the buckwheat and ready to go, ready to go to Heaney, et cetera, in a great privately owned company called Vita Cost. Yes, I've heard of that. They sell tons of organics and free shipping really often. So handy for me out here on the farm with so few options for shopping for this way of eating and living. That is so good, Lois. That is amazing. Good for you. Good for you. Yes. And great job. It is up. Yes, I did it. I did it. I did it. I updated the description. You're so welcome, Aubrey. I'm so glad to have you. And I love that you remind me all the time that you are, it's Aubrey. So that I know that it's you on your mom's, uh, on your mom's page. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of, uh, that I feel like that's all that we want to do today in class here on the real juicy detox. We made a beautiful eggless salad. Aubrey, do you like egg salad, honey? Do you like egg salad? Do you like eggs? This is a delicious egg salad that I hope that you guys make and eat and enjoy. Oh yeah, that's gonna get gobbled up in no time. Actually, I'm gonna put that into us looking up here at my other camera that's not on. I'm gonna put that in a smaller bowl. And then I'll be able to put that into the fridge. And you know what I think I'm going to do after class here? After class here, I'm sorry. You've never tried this before? You and your mom should definitely make this. I think you would really like it. I think you would really like it. It's perfect on a bagel. Oh, I was talking about how I have those marinated mushroom caps in the fridge. Let me see if they're in. Let me see if they're still in there. I'm just gonna give this a quick little rinse out. Extreme cleaning. Don't forget. You're so welcome, babe. And and Aubrey says, I never tried that before, but I want to. Awesome. It's super easy. It's really, really easy. And you guys can make it together. How cool is that, right? You did enough. Go rest. Thank you. So you like this egg salad instead of the chickpea and zucchini? I would say this is on par with the zucchini egg salad. I do not like the chickpea egg salad. But this... I love this. Get the lid on here. These are the Pyrex dishes that I got at um, the Pyrex bowls that I got at. You know what? That jalapeno is so good. I should put pop a few of those in to the mix, but I'm going to leave it for now. No, I want to put them in. I like a little bit of heat. Of course, if you don't like, oh, that just squirted right into my eye. Holy moly. Right on my face, right near my eye, the jalapeno. I need a face shield to cut a jalapeno. Okay, that didn't go in my eye, but like literally right down here and right up here. I will need to try it. Yeah, Lisa, you're going to love this. Oh my God, I'm scared to even go near my eye with a, to wipe my eye now. Holy, 
holy crackamole. So I'm just going to take this. I took it and I was just cutting, you know, like this so that it, come on now, burns, so that it's kind of shredded. And I'm just going to go in and dice it really fine. Yeah, this is such a good salad, you guys. So yeah, so if you want to make something for your family that they're going to really enjoy eating, that you can really feel confident that you're going to serve them food that is not going to make their bodies feel inflamed, it's not going to make them have you know, digestive issues, it's going to be really good for their bowel movements, then this is one of those things that you can make for them. And they're going to be really good with it. And then, of course, adding them onto our bagels. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Our bagels. Of course, if you don't, if you're making this for the little ones, you want to obviously not put in the, the, the hot peppers, the jalapenos, but I like it a little bit spicy. So just get that mixed around. That'll be good. I want to see if I have any of those mushroom caps. No, I don't think I see any. Oh, that is not true. Let me see. Let me see the comments. Hello. Gabrielle says, I still didn't find dry packed sun dried tomatoes around here. Also, did you put the pickles? I don't remember. I did not put the pickles in. No, I did not. I left them out. I just found, I don't, I don't know. I don't like the pickles in it. So here are the mushroom caps. Now I put them into just this banana pepper chunk. What is this called? Banana pepper chunks, mild. I had used that. I'm just going to use the top of this for my prep spot. And these mushrooms have been soaking in there for a while. Are they still good? I think so, because once it's in that pickle juice, it kind of, you know, oh, there we are. <laughs> Hello. It kind of, it preserves it a little bit, right? When you pickle something and it's been in the fridge, so it's all good. So there it is. I mean, it doesn't look like a white mushroom because that's how it got. I don't know. Is this still good? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. And we're going to taste it and see how it works. Okay. There it is. That's good. Mm hmm. I like it. It does add a nice pickle element to it. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. 
Oh, that is so good. My mom said, we're going to visit you in Canada one day. I would love to have you come and visit. Please do. Please do. That would be so much fun, Aubrey. I can take you around. I can show you Toronto. We can go <clears throat> to Niagara Falls. I can take you on oh, so many fun places. Come. Stuffed jalapenos. Ooh, dang, girl. When my mom feels better. Yes, when your mom feels better, when the borders open up, when all of this stuff about the whole flu thing is over. Yes, I would love that. I would love that. In the meantime, here we are. We can spend time together here in the kitchen, right? How cool is that? Look, how cool is this? Yeah, you can do this with stuffed jalapenos. Absolutely. There's all kinds of things you can do this with. But so far, very happy with how the um, the cucumber version of this eggless salad came out. I think it's delicious. I think you guys should go and try it. And uh, I don't think you're going to be disappointed at all. Not at all. All right, guys. This has been a nice, quiet, chill day. I hope that you guys had fun. I hope you're inspired to make this eggless salad. And the bagels, oh my goodness, the bagels were something else. Make this for sure. This is one of those things that you can feed your family with confidence and... Um, yeah, delicious. Delicioso all the way around. I did not get around to making the cream cheese, but the ingredients are right in the description of this video. So if you guys make it, let me know and um, and hashtag your, if you post about it, hashtag the real juicy detox so we can see how you use it. Yeah, we can chill in the kitchen together, right? Absolutely. That would be so much fun. I would love that. I can take you around to, to introduce you to our other young friends that live close here too. So we've got Amar. He's eight, just around your age. We've got um, Alicia, uh, Alice, Alyssa, his big sister, who's 11, and five-year-old Alicia. And they are all right close to me. They live 15 minutes away. And we have Victoria and, and Vic and Abby, they live really close by. I haven't met the other Victoria and Abby as yet, but I know uh, Victoria Ling. She's been here at the house before. So we can we can have a kids get together, a juicy kids get together. Oh my gosh. How cool is it? These young kids are loving this and that they're here. I love you so much, Aubrey. Thank you so much for coming to class today. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you, Burns. Have a great afternoon. You as well, darling. Thank you, Burns. You're so welcome, Elaine. Love you all. Thank you, Alana. We love you too. We love you too. And remember to check out my girlfriend's link for the aprons, okay? They are beautiful. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. Let me show you again the watermelon one. These are handmade designer aprons, y'all. Look at this. Look at the little frill on the bottom of this. Look at how cute that is. Crazy. So pretty. So I, I'm excited to be wearing these and to be showing them off for my girlfriend. And, um, you know, check her out laboroflovaprons.com. The link is in the description of this video on the YouTube. On the tube, baby. Just look at this. Just so pretty, right? How cute is that? How cute is that? You're welcome, darling. Carrie says, thank you very much. You're so welcome. Keep going on your journey. Keep going on your healing journey. It's going to be so worth it, babe. It's going to be so worth it. Trust the process. Trust that your body knows what to do with these beautiful living foods. And uh, you're doing it. And the beautiful healing, supportive herbs as well. You're doing a great job. You're doing it, Carrie. You're doing it. And you're doing it. We're here with you on the journey, okay? So anytime you need a a little bit of extra strength. Anytime you need a little bit of extra love, 
we're here for you. Post in the Facebook group. Come here to class. Let us know. We got you, babe. Would love to be in your kitchen. I would love to have you here in person as well. Oh, my gosh. But in the meantime, we'll just have to do the virtual hangout. So I'm loving that we, we get to do this every single day. Gwen, thank you so much. Gwen says, enjoy your afternoon. Right? They're so adorable. They're so adorable. I feel so blessed. She sent me two. So blessed. Hmm. Have a great afternoon, you guys. I'll see you back here at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for, um, for our evening check-in. As usual, you know, you remember, we are live three times a day so that you can feel well supported at all times of day through your uh, through your journey. We should all go to your kitchen would be so much fun. You know, I think about that every single time I go live. I'm like, oh my gosh, 21 people are standing around here, hanging out, liming, as I say, in the kitchen with me. And it's uh, for real. I, I seriously envision all of you here because you are. We're here doing this together. We're here doing this together. So cool. Hey, Emoji King in the house. How are you doing, my friend? I hope that you guys are well. Cynthia, your beautiful emoji queen, and Michelle, love that you guys are here. Having one of those days, can't seem to get it together, just now rebounding, having mashed cauliflower with mushrooms tonight and eggless salad. Have a wonderful, restful day. God bless you. Oh, babe, listen, on days when we can't feel like we can get it together, that's when you know that you just need to pull back a little bit honor yourself, sit down, watch a little, watch a little Burns or a little Dr. Morse or something that is uplifting for you. You know, maybe this is just one of those days that you're not meant to get it together. Maybe this is one of those days when you're, where you're meant to stay in bed. Here's what I would do on those days. I would make my bed and then get back into it and enjoy the rest of your day in a nicely made up bed. If you can, hopefully you have the opportunity to do that. But either way, don't, don't be too hard on yourself emotionally about it. Okay. Just say, Oh, I'm having a 3d kind of day. That's what I often say to myself. I'm just having a 3d kind of day. Being busy. Busy is good. That would be so much fun, wouldn't it? You know, if it wasn't for this whole pandemic thing, one day, one day we should do some healing resort retreats, retreats at like a warm resort area somewhere. Wouldn't that be fun? Would you come? If I, if I gave, if I threw a retreat, would you come? I know you would come. I, I want to win the lottery. I want to win a, like a big lottery like a $55 million lottery. And I want to have a, a retreat where we have like our original gangsters, like our OGs, all of you guys who are here right now. Been watching Dr. Morse all morning. Awesome. Dr. Morse, number one. Oh my gosh, for sure. Yes, Lisa would come. I would have a retreat at somewhere like spectacular. And then I would charge everybody $10, all inclusive. <laughs> and I would fly you all out there. And we would get together and we would, we would cook together, uncooking like this. We would do beautiful, beautiful yoga. We would do rebounding, bouncing with burns. I would have massage tables set up so everybody can have massage spa treatments, lymphatic massage. You can get your eyes red. We would have beautiful herbal teas and, and we would be there for 30 days. 30 days. Oh, and I would make sure that whatever income you were making you would just get that in your bank account for those 30 days. So you didn't have to worry that you were away from work. Wouldn't that be fun? That's my dream. That's my dream. So let's make it so universe. I'm ready for the big win. I'm ready for the win. I already have the big win. Look at, look at all these beautiful people here. 
hell yeah, I'd come, right? We'll, we will just go to your glampers, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Emoji King says, sounds like heaven. Seriously, I, if I, when, when I do win, that's what I'm going to do. I would so love to be there. I'm telling you, man. When I win that lottery, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plan it out so nobody has a loss of income so that you're there for a full 30 days, totally full-on relaxation mode. Kind of like what Jason Vale did for his um, movie, the, the Juice It Up movie, that so inspired me to do this healing journey. <laughs> Roll that dice, baby. Mama needs a new retreat. Oh, my God, I want to go there. Mm-hmm. I say the same thing, right? Emoji King. That's what I would totally do. Totally would do that. And I would hire an amazing team to make sure that you guys were all taken care of and pampered. Make sure you had your own concierge so that everything would be taken care of. Oh my gosh. I just took you with me to my chiropractor appointment. The salad looks yummy. Awesome. Say hi to your chiropractor for me. And I'm going to contact you, Rosie. We need to have our, our session either today or tomorrow. Okay, babe? I'd never leave, right? Let's go. How about Costa Rica? Praying you win the lottery. Yeah, Costa Rica would work. Bali would work. Anywhere warm would work, actually. I say we, we manifest that. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm, man, I'm manifesting it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And when it happens, I'll be like, I told you I was going to do it. I told you it would happen. Right, Emoji King? And in the meantime, in the meantime, we come together here every day and we hang out. And this is the same vibe that we have here every day. This is the same vibe that we'll have at our retreats. That'll be something else. Oh, and we'll also bring along your partners, your spouses, and your families. How about that? Because, you know, $55 million, that's, that'll be like a small drop in that bucket. Right? Yeah. Because, you know, you don't want to leave behind your, your, your husbands or your wives. You want to bring those awesome people with you. As long as they don't require one of those passports to travel. Well, if you look up Dolores Cahill and natural law, she has not needed a any kind of those passports at all. There's a way around that. They just want you to think that that's a rule. We'll work that out. Listen, if we can manifest $55 million, we can, I, we can manifest anything we want. Anywhere there's coconuts, pineapples, and mangoes, right? Yeah, baby. That's fun. That's a fun life. That's a fun life. I love it. I love the lemon apron. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, the apron is super cute. I got it for my friend. Go check out her aprons. Look at how cute this is. Let me stand back a little bit and show you. Move the bill, dill pickle jar. How cute is this? It's got the little ruffle on it. Isn't that cute? It even, it even has a pocket, y'all. Even has a pocket. Super freaking cute. I love it. Go check out um, Labor of Love Aprons, my girl, Nicole. I heard about that, Burns. I keep meaning to check that out. Check what out? What, did I, what was I talking about? She always asks me what I'm watching. I say a really awesome cooking show. Yes. What are you watching? You're watching the burns, the real juicy detox, how to prepare beautiful food to detox and heal the body. Mm, perfect. I love it. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will be back at eight. I'm going to go have a little lie down, maybe have a little meditation, maybe allow myself to have a little nap about the Cahill lady. Yes. Yes. Dolores. Cahill, 
um, natural law, because all of that, we are by natural law, which supersedes all other law. We are by natural law allowed to have freedom of movement, freedom of travel, freedom of, of, of speech, freedom uh, to breathe the air that we want to breathe. And the, the stuff that this woman is doing and is reinforcing, listen, it's the same as me. I don't, I don't wear a mask anywhere. I mean, I'll wear the, the face shield at Costco because I don't feel like getting into it with them. And honestly, I, I can get into it with them, but I just don't feel like, you know, it's too, it's too, too much wasted energy in a, in a non-productive place. Right. But, uh, for the most part, I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to all of that, uh, brainwashed stuff. It's brainwashing. It's totally brainwashing. And I don't, I don't, I'm not doing it. Yes, spring chickens with lemons. Chickity, chickity, chickity. Okay, guys, I'm going to head out. Have a great afternoon. Thank you so much for coming to class today. I hope that you make the eggless salad. It's so good. I hope you guys make the bagel recipe because this is so delicious. And I hope to see you back soon. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here. Same bad time, same bad channel. I love you guys. Mm.